Thank you. Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty back to work today after a round of intense media interviews linked to the sexual harassment scandal that rocked her office. I want that investigation. I really do. Um, I think that it's important that the House, the people, that I understand what mistakes that I made um, and that my colleagues do too. I never wanted anyone to get hurt and I'm so sorry and if I could turn back the clock and have none of this happen I would knowing what I know now there are lots of things I would do differently and I, I would have suspended him right away um, I would have gotten outside experts to conduct that investigation number one I'm not running for re-election period full stop I'm just not it's I, I don't think it's right to serve the people of Connecticut I think I serve them best by trying to trying to fix some things and there is still one burning question for SD News 8's George Colley traveled to Washington to get an answer Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty repeatedly apologized for delaying the termination of a chief of staff for three months after she had found out that he harassed and even threatened to kill a former staffer. Now, Esty did send out a statement last week saying she would not seek re-election in November, but she had not faced the media until yesterday in Washington. So I asked her, why did she wait to have that interview yesterday in the nation's capital when she could have spoke to all of us here in Connecticut last week? Why not have this conversation, press conference, interviews in Connecticut in your home district last week? There's a lot to process, you know. My family's been extremely involved um, in supporting me, have been wonderful, and I, you know, needed time with them. Needed time with them and time to sort of process all of this and think about, you know, what I really think was the right thing to do and have a chance to kind of settle with, with that. I Discernment. I'm a person of faith. I, I genuinely have been trying to, like, be quiet, frankly, turn off the noise, and, and think about what, what the, what the path is forward, where I need to be used, where I can help try to make a difference now. Esty says she has no plans to step down before her term ends. She says that the fifth district needs a voice in Washington in case there's any important votes that come up in the next few months. George Colley, News Eight.